Well, congratulations to the Los Angeles Rams. LeBron James, who was at the Super Bowl, sent out a tweet that's got a lot of Laker Nation questioning some things here. LeBron said, we, Dodgers and Rams, should all do a joint parade together with a live concert afterwards to end it. City of Champions, congrats once again to the Rams. Again, congratulations to the Los Angeles Rams who were victorious this weekend over the Cincinnati Bengals. So I got to say this, um, and I do believe I speak for a lot of Laker Nation, but again, don't hold me to that. Maybe Laker Nation disagrees with me. Keep in mind, I don't live in Los Angeles. I am from Memphis. I grew up a Lakers fan. I've been a Laker fan since I was five years old, but I got to say this, though. I don't think this LeBron and L.A. Lakers relationship is in a great place right now. And I think both sides got a, a real, real reason to be upset with each other. You know, LeBron, first off, I don't believe anybody should do a joint parade. Again, I only brought up that I'm from Memphis because I, I don't I'm not a Dodgers fan. I'm not a Rams fan. I'm actually a Dallas Cowboy fan. Um, I know prayers to me in the comment section. Um, here's the thing. A joint parade would take away from the Rams in their moment. Why would the Rams want to do a joint parade with the Lakers and Dodgers? The Lakers didn't win the championship last year. The Bucs did. The Dodgers didn't either. Like, that, that was the Lakers won that championship nearly almost two years ago. Go win it again if you want to do a joint parade. I could see if the Lakers had have won it like last year, right? And uh, last and, and, and instead of the Bucs. And you want a joint parade right now if you couldn't do it because of COVID. I get that. But we're talking about something that happened 18, 19 months ago. The Lakers didn't get their parade coming out of the bubble for anybody that doesn't know, if I didn't make that clear in the header. It's old now. It didn't happen. Okay, let's move on. We're reaching a point of no return here. You know, as LeBron James was partying during the Super Bowl, he was on camera a lot. He's LeBron James, one of the biggest celebrities in the world. Even I had to stop myself. I'm mad watching LeBron like, yo, why, you just missed a game time free throw with the, with the Warriors the night before, and now you celebrate. I had to stop myself like, yo, this dude got a life. Like, he doesn't have to, be, you know, every minute of his off, see, off season then, or off time, excuse me, doesn't have to be devoted to basketball. I had to stop myself like, yo, he can do other things. LeBron hasn't cheated the game of basketball. That wasn't fair to LeBron. I had to stop myself. Now, I didn't tweet or anything. I'm saying I had to personally stop myself. LeBron hasn't cheated the game of basketball. So I'm going to give LeBron that. But as a Laker fan, I think LeBron needs to understand this. See, LeBron didn't bring the Lakers their first championship in 50, 60 years like he did Cleveland. LeBron didn't bring back-to-back non-bubble championships to L.A. like he did Miami. LeBron has only been with us for a few years. And again, all we have to show for, and this is a one big all, to be fair, is a bubble championship. A championship that a lot of people consider watered down. I don't, but a lot of people do. A lot of Laker fans do. I don't think it's a great spot for us or uh, as Laker Nation or LeBron to be in right now. We're clearly in it this year. We want to win right now. We're, we're four or five games under 500. This team has been abysmal. The Lakers are the number one franchise in, sport, in, in, in the NBA for a reason. We win, and we win frequently. This is what we do. We have had greats. And LeBron being the greatest to follow behind Kobe, we wouldn't see Kobe Bryant at a Super Bowl game after missing a, a, a game-time free throw. We would never have saw that. Even if Kobe was at the game, he would have made sure he we, nobody would have saw him, which I doubt he wouldn't have been at the game. He would have been at the free throw line in my world during the Super Bowl, rest in peace to the great. I, I, This is not what we're accustomed to with Laker Nation. And I think it kind of tells us of the times that we're in. Like, LeBron doesn't cheat the game of basketball. But optically, it looks bad seeing him at the Super Bowl after he came up short in the clutch for the Lakers. And his team has been abysmal this year. This ain't a first or second place Lakers, uh, place Lakers team. This is a Lakers team struggling to make the playoffs. Okay, Nikola Jokic, night in, night out, is doing a lot more with less than what LeBron and Anthony Davis are able to do night in, night out with the Lakers. No excuses from Denver. No excuses from Joel Embiid through the first half of the season. He ain't had nobody there as a second star. This is embarrassing as a Laker fan this year. This, is, this season has been awful. It has been awful. And LeBron's gotten us one bubble ring in about four or five years as a Laker. We got him at 33. And I don't think Laker Nation feels like that's enough. We feel like LeBron 
has conceived. If you talk to LeBron fans, I'm saying not Laker fans, just LeBron fans. I'm talking about fans the day if LeBron ever left the Lakers, which I don't believe will happen. The day LeBron leaves the team, they're done with Lakers. They're going to throw them Lakers jerseys out, and they're going to become a fan of whatever team he would go to. Those fans, if you talk to them, most of them are like, I'm just comfortable with what LeBron has given me. I'm satisfied. See, LeBron's given, Le- 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 LeBron's given LeBron fans four championships. He's only given the Laker fans one bubble ring. That's a big difference. Laker Nation ain't satisfied. We want one this year. We feel as if, though, we've got enough to go after it this year. We're dedicated. We're watching the games. We're invested in the product. We're going to the games. Laker tickets ain't cheap. Anytime you mix LeBron's brand with the Laker brand, them ain't no cheap tickets. I just went to a Laker game a a couple weeks ago, and guess what? LeBron didn't even play, but I paid the price of LeBron playing. Like, just to be clear, like, this is is big money we talking about here. The point I'm trying to make is Laker fans ain't satisfied with just one. That's not what we do here. When we get great players, we go after multiple ones. So my question is, what is it, LeBron fans? Is your guy LeBron still in his prime? Because y'all keep saying he's still one of the three best players in the world. I don't believe that. I think I'm a more realistic fan because I've accepted LeBron as Laker Nation. I believe he's more like top five, top seven right now. If, If he's top five and Anthony Davis is top 12, top 15, should we not be better than four or five games under 500, no matter what's going on around us? Even if we got Russell Westbrook, I'm, we're, we're not. We're healthy right now. We're not winning games at all. We're losing to Portland right now. We're not winning games. Literally, every team gets whatever they want on us or offense on offense right now. Should we not want more than one bubble championship in four or five years with LeBron? Is this it? Is it now a LeBron James retirement tour? Because that's what it feels like to me sometimes. It feels like we should be just proud that we got LeBron and how great he's been throughout his career, which he is one of my three best players of all time. It feels like we should just be happy with what LeBron has given the game of basketball and given LeBron fans versus Laker Nation wanting more. We want another championship, baby. We want to at least compete. I'm looking at what Chris Paul is doing in Phoenix right now. And it's all basketball. I ain't see CP3 at the at the Super Bowl. And by the way, next year's Super Bowl will be in Arizona. I don't believe win or lose if the Suns win a championship or lose that bad boy this year. I don't believe next year we're going to see Chris Paul at the Super Bowl. I'm I'm a little lost here, y'all. I, I, we, we, I feel like we, we kind of feel cheated a little bit, slighted a little bit. Like we're getting we're getting a half-hearted LeBron. LeBron's so great that a half-hearted LeBron is still probably better than about 85% of the league. But we do feel like we're getting a half-hearted LeBron right now. We're getting a celebrity who's in love with basketball when he's got a great team around him. But when the team's not great, this is not a guy that's trying to put the team on his back like an earlier version of LeBron James would have did. I don't think this is a great relationship right now because LeBron's resume as a player is second to none, maybe second to Michael Jordan. You know, his resume is better than Kobe to me. Now, I don't think he was a better player at his peak than Kobe. His resume is better than Kobe being Bryant, all things considered. You know, I believe that. But Kobe did all of that in L.A. LeBron's did a little of that in L.A. We're not going to give him the same right to pass to finish his career on the decline as we gave Kobe because if you're looking at this from a business standpoint, Kobe gave us all he had. The reason why Kobe's legs were shot at the end of his career is because he dedicated all that to Laker Nation, baby. We got a little bit of LeBron. And when this thing started, we knew what it was. LeBron needed us. We needed LeBron. The Lakers were abysmal before LeBron got there. And LeBron has been able to make more movies and do things, you know, easier being in, in California. But I don't think Laker Nation is going to just settle with this LeBron gave us a bubble ring. We were not able to celebrate that bad boy because of COVID. And that's it. If LeBron is still putting up numbers like a top five, top eight player, we're going to want to see top five results as a season. And right now, we're not even top eight in the Western Conference. That's the problem that we're reaching here that no one wants to really talk about. 
LeBron is living off his legacy, but only a piece of his legacy actually happened in Los Angeles.